Hi guys, Jean here of Creatively Jean. Some days I don't feel so creative. Okay, so today we're back with part four of our mini album. Hopefully we'll get it finished or, you know, if it's not totally finished, that's probably going to be it. You know, I don't know if you guys want to drag down too much. So we just have the cover, inside cover and the back. I think this is what I wanted for the cover. But I don't want, I want a, the little border here. So this is six by six, if you remember. We did six by six. It's actually not quite six by six. So it's about seven eighths. Five and seven eighths after you put it all together. Okay, so we're going to cut this down. This piece down a little bit. Because we're, I want to put a border. And I think we're going to go with red i'm also going to do it for here too so i'm going to do um a red border i think for both of them kind of take bring out a lot of this red that's in here let's see which red i think the lighter red i think we'll go with okay so let's bring find my cutter down here okay review So if it's five and seven eighths, let's bring it down to hmm, five and a half, five and three quarters. Let's start with five and three quarters. I prefer to start big and cut down. If you cut too much off, you know, then you have nothing. What did I say I was cutting it? Three quarters. So I like to start a little bit bigger. I just want to give a little black border. And we're gonna, let's do our inside one first. Let's bring this open so I can see. Yeah, five and three quarters. We're gonna cut that one down to five and three quarters. Okay, so let's do two of them. Put that one aside. So five and three quarters, should have plenty. I always like to err on the bigger side because I can always cut it down a little bit more, but you can't put back on. I mean, there's ways to make up, but okay, two of them. Now, for this cover, this is going to be the cover. So let's find something that kind of, you know, doesn't have to totally match, but, you know, let's see what we have left in our paper pad here. We used up quite a bit of it. We did the mushroom. What else do we have? We have the mushroom. It's falling apart on me now that we took out a lot of pieces. We've used a lot. But you know what? I think let's just kind of go with this one. Okay. Now, okay. Do we want to put these two together? I mean, they're not going to be together together. You're just going to open it. They're both pretty, but I think I'm going to stick with the green a little bit brighter. I mean, you're, you're not, they're not together together, so it doesn't matter, but you know. Okay, so I did, let's, so we want to go down five and a half now, because I just want a little color to show. So let's bring this down to five and a half square. I hope that's not too much. That's a quarter inch. So that gives me an eighth inch around the side. So if we border it. I'm going to put this on top of this, like that, and this on top of that. See, doesn't that look better having a red border than just putting it on like that? So we're going to put the red border down, the red down first, and then I just think that looks so much better. Okay, put that aside, and now we got to cut our main one down. So now I want to be kind of like here I might cut her off too much. So I'm going to cut on this side, I think, more. Let's see how much I take off if I do five and a half. I think that's going to be perfect. I'm not losing any of the girls. Oh, I'm losing. Not really. I didn't lose all of her. And then I think, because I don't want to cut any of this off down the bottom. So we'll sacrifice the top on this. That. Okay. That's still lovely. Okay. Let's move this off to our side a little bit. 
Okay, let's glue these together first. We're just going to glue that together like that. I like you could use this side too. It looks just as nice. The camera seems like it's in a different spot today, but whatever. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I already have a request for my next junk journal. Somebody would like me to make a bird, B I R D, bird theme junk journal. So that will be next on our list. Okay, beautiful, isn't that? I do pat myself on the back. Okay, and then we'll put that one on there like that. Remember, I'm not a professional. I'm just an old lady who likes to craft. I would never ever call myself a professional. Anything. Okay. Beautiful. Not, got too much stuff on my desk. Now we're going to put this one on this side. Take off our little tape from our when we put our magnets down. Well, you are being stubborn. I have this little tool. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This is from We Are... Not We Are Makers. I forgot who did this one now. I have to look it up. And you're supposed to just scrape it along like that. And sometimes it'll catch and sometimes I have troubles with it catching. I don't use it too much. See, no, there's just making a mess. I'm still getting the hang of using it. Sometimes I get it perfect the first time. Other times, not so much. Okay, for I'm going to put some glue down around the magnet. Okay, and then around our... Trying... Not to get my head. Let me bring it down a little bit because I can't. See my paper. Can't see the edge there. Okay, get the glue off my hands first before I press it down too much. And right here are my magnets. So give it a good rub all the way around the magnets. Get a little bit of glue off there. Let's see, here we just did the black border, so same paper, here we did the red border. See how much I like that much better? That's your preference. Okay. Okay, let's get our little cover here going. And then we're going to put this down here. I love it. Good. You hear that click? Okay, I'm gonna lay it down this way and flatten it really good. Okay, so now when you open it up, let's kind of get those pages. Beautiful. Now let's just put something on the back. The back, not so crazy for me because you know who really looks at the back of your album? Okay. So, I think, I don't think, I don't know if we even used this other one here yet. That has all the, this one here. Did we use this in the book somewhere? I think we might have, but let's see what color, what side we used. Maybe we didn't use that one yet. Oh yeah, we used that one. So let's use the black side, because we used the, 
the lighter side there. So let's use the black side. on the back okay it's still pretty okay i see the first color i see this is how i kind of do my things when i want to put a border i kind of look at the paper and what what color stands out to you i am seeing the pink is standing out to me so we're going to do a pink border on the back page i'm still going to do a border but we're going to do the a pink that's kind of how i i i pick my complementing colors you guys may have other ways, like the, the yellow stands out pretty good too, but I, the first thing I notice is her pink hair. I think really stands out, all the pink hair. So let's find the pinks in here, and let's put a pink the same as we did on the front. Okay, there's a lighter pink. The backside probably is a, nope, not darker. And see, now I might not like it because the, the pink is not as dark as I thought they would have. Let's go way up back here. That one's not too bad. That's too dark. This is all purples, purples. That's too light. This one looks this one looks pretty good. This one looks almost like a good match. Okay, so let's do that. So again. Oh my gosh, get that pulled out. Again, the this was five and three quarters. So we did on the front. So the measurements should stay the same. and three quarters okay and then this one piece will be five and a half and this one's got kind of a shimmer it's gonna be hard to see you can see the shimmer on this one okay five and a half Jean yes I do talk to myself you know say my own name and the stuff like that you know yeah, I do answer myself to, you know. It's even worse when I'm with the dogs, you know. Okay. I'm trying to see how I want that on there. So we got that now. So, like, you could have picked out any because there's a lot of yellow through here. You could have went yellow. There's, the green really kind of stands out. There's green throughout. So you could have picked pretty much any color you wanted out of there as your layering piece. That's just kind of how I do it. I try not to overthink it too much. What stands out to me, and that's what I go with. And then we lay it down, you know, as straight as you can. Bring you guys back down a little teeny weeny bit back here okay make sure i have my book the right way it wouldn't be the first time right we have messed up many times and then since i got like three layers you got your black your pink and then your main and like i said i'm not putting a lot of bulk in this because i am making you guys a uh, a little a uh, holder that'll hold six of these albums so we're not putting, we don't want a lot of bulk on the front and the back cover so that they sit in there nicely. That'll be in the next video is the box. So you can make up to six of these and they will fit nicely in a little cute little box that we'll make. And that's really easy to put together too. Okay, so we got that, that, that. I am going to leave, I think I am, because I don't like messing with itty bitty bitty little strips. You know, I'd have to make it even smaller. So I'm going to leave all my little edges black like that. Now, if you want to do them, you can do them. You can always just take some of just the color paper you have left, and you can just add all that around. I am not messing with them. I like them just like that. Now, for the front cover... I have, these are some of the things that came with it. Um, there's ladybugs. I was going to put a ladybug on it, but I'm thinking it might be too bulky. Um, like I said, you'll know when I make you the little box why I don't want to put too much bulk on. Uh, but these you can get to coordinate with this set. And then I got these little stars. Oh, these ones will be good. And then we'll look at the ephemera pieces, what we have in here. And then I have one other thing we can do. And then you can always use these also. 
that are in there. And then you can get this kit that makes that you, you layer. And you've seen me do these in the past. And I'm not going to do one today. What I'm going to show you is it's got all these layering pieces so you would layer like this one would go on first and then it says like because this is layer layer one layer two layer three four five and six so you just keep layering them on top of that and oops here we go sorry you just keep layering all these on top of this one and it makes a really pretty dimensional thing but i can't do that either for this because we're too dimensional but what you can use is you can use like just this piece inside your album you do not have to, you get enough of them. Let me see. I think you get one, two, two of each, two of each, I think, two of each design, two of each design. So you can use one design and you could take apart. So you could use just this and put it in now. You can use some of these flowers, put it in your album. She's really cute. I might put her on the one page, but for first, I don't know if I'm going to put any of these. They're, they're not too thick, but what I want to do is take some of these stars and I'm just going to put some of the stars where there is stars here. And we're going to do that just for some little color on the front. If I can figure out how to open it. I, like I said, I did find out you can get this kit on Amazon yet. So I was really surprised about that, that we could still find it. Okay, let's use the yellow one. Okay, what I noticed on these ones is the sticky stayed off there. So we're just going to do this. Put a little dab of glue down. And put a star there. We're just going to put different spots. Let's put one here. And I'm actually going to use all different colors, I think. I don't want red there, but we'll take a green one. I'm going to use all different colors. Let's put one right about in the middle. That's probably a little too much glue, Jean, but put that in the middle. And you can see what I'm doing, and it gives it just a little bit of dimension, but not too much. I did the green ones, the white one, and yellow ones so far. So it doesn't give it a lot of dimension, but it'll, it'll give it some pop when you look at it. It's better in, in person. I'm just going to leave three for now. I may add more later on. Okay, let me get this. And this is just a, um, like a pokey tool. Uh, I don't know what they're exactly called, but they have the sticky on the end and then a little sharp piece on the other end. Um, I think I think they're called, when you're looking them up, I think they're called pokey tools. I'll, I'll try to link that for you guys. I have many, like I have my regular pokey tools and this had the sticky on it in case I needed it so it had the sticky on okay let's look at some of this ephemera and see I'm leaving um, on this one I'm leaving this open because what I'm going to do on this is when I decide what it's going to be used for or if I'm gifting this I haven't decided yet you could write in there like you know your child's fifth birthday or whatever so I that's why I'm leaving that I'm not putting nothing in the middle that's a good place to put a saying also, when I do this, when I make the title for here, I will also make a title for here because our albums are going to sit up like this in our little holder. So I will make a title strip for here also too. And we'll discuss that when we make the box. Let me see if I have any three-dimensional, some pieces I can put on that all kind of match um, and that kind of bulk some of these up. Okay, take these out of here. You got all of the cute little fairies. They're a little big for, these would fit better on your 12 by 12s because here's what I was looking for. But see how much taller she is than on here? But on the 12 by 12, she would fit perfect. These pieces will be more for your 12 by 12, but I might be able to use some of these smaller pieces. Like here's some cute little, you know, butterflies I could add in if I wanted to put like here's the butterfly that looks like it matches that butterfly. So you could put that butterfly there. If you want to make it dimensional, you could put that there. I'm just trying to think if that's going to be too when I'm putting it in the thing. 
you know i think i'm just going to leave the cover like that for now until we see this ladybug will not be too bad i think we're just gonna leave it for now until we see how it fits in the in the box and make sure there's not too much dimension on the front okay so let's go inside though we can put some of these we can work some of these inside and where was this one I was going to maybe use? Her. I think she is so beautiful. Let's pop her out. I'm just going to use the smaller one, I think. And again, I don't know if I will pop these up. I don't think I really need to pop it up. I'll show you. I don't really think I need to pop them up. And you can decide on that. What I'm going to do, because a picture is going to probably go in here. So you really only want to glue down the sides here. So that you can still, so like from here to here. So you can still slide a picture in. Okay. Or if you put it on this side, I don't like it on that side. You'd want to just glue this side down. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to put her there. And I think I'm going to glue just below the wing. Oh, I got to take the little pieces out too. There's little pieces in there too for the openings. I can get them. Can't see them until you flip it over. Then you can usually see them better. That there's these little pieces you got to pop out. I think we got them all. Okay, so where am I going to go? Okay, I think we'll start here. Put the glue here, here, here. Yep, that should be good. Put this back down there. And after you put your picture in, you could always tack it down a little bit. But now you can take, let's see, well, this is going to be here. You can take and still put, add your picture behind her. Okay. Let's open this up. We already did that strip there. Let's see what we have in here. Are the butterflies are going to be in, or the ladybugs? No, they're two dimensional. These are wood ladybugs. Bring some of these over so I can see what we got here. Maybe a couple of. There we got a lot of butterflies. Some lightning bugs would be nice. I don't see any of them. Like I could put a couple. I don't know if I like them on there. Let's see. I don't really think I like them on there. This, this is like the, the hard part. Because the decorating part. Because I don't want to. These I'm going to pretty much just leave. All the, the plain color ones we did. We're going to pretty much just leave. Leave that open for writing spots. We're not going to decorate that. That's something that can be decorated later on once you get it finished. And uh, in fact, you know, I'm not even going to make a tag for this. I'm just going to leave that for putting pictures right in there. Because really, album, not everybody really uses tags. So I like to store extra pictures or, you know, something from, you know, if it say it's a birthday party, maybe a piece of uh, the napkin or something tuck in there. So I'm not going to worry about that see what we have over here maybe just a mushroom Let's see I'm trying to get it I got so much stuff here I'm trying to get everything in camera so I like that one better so many things to choose from Let's go back to these. So I only want to use one of those. So we can use this one yet. Because I like to keep the other one for if I do do. Do do? If I do the dimensional parts. Nope. Take that one out. We did that one, that one, and that one. Okay, so we can use some of these. Maybe I like. I like it all. Let's take this little guy out once. And they do come up fairly easy, but you still want to take... Okay. 
here slowly. I don't remember if they had these with the kit or not. See if we have any pieces on that one. Nope. Same thing. I'm just going to kind of take right along about here. And like I said, my thing is I, I usually don't, I'm only decorating for you guys. I usually don't even put any of this stuff in until I have my pictures because I don't know what pictures are getting put in. And if I'm giving this to somebody, I either pack up a lot of this stuff to give to them, or most of the time they ask me to put the pictures in for them. Let's go on this opposite side here. Get this done, okay. I think one of the little, little cute little fairy girls need to go over there. She may blend too much with her coloring because she's got the same color dress. But she's sitting the wrong way. Let's take this one out. We'll use the smaller one here. See if I like her. I'm always afraid to pull too hard. I mean, they come out really pretty easily, but I'm always afraid I'm going to rip it. Okay. I think she's she's blending too too much. But yet, I think I think she's fine. But let me see what one of these chipboard ones look like. There's a little bit more white on the chipboards. Let's see, do I have her in the purple hair? Oh, she's cute. She's just walking along the little field here. And this one, I think I'm just gonna, because it's a chipboard, I think I'm just gonna glue the whole thing down because there's still plenty of room for a picture. Because it's chipboard, I don't want it to come off either. She's pretty. This whole paper pack is just gorgeous. I like this company so much. I get. I gotta hold it down a little bit because it is chipboard and it wants to come back up on me because it's a little bent there. So let's make sure you're gonna stay down. Okay, you good? You good. Where am I? feel like I feel like I need something on here since we're really you know might not be able to put a picture there I mean you could put a pretty small picture there let me just look at my options here people let me look at our options I wish I had something with they had some kind of sayings but they don't have any kind of sayings oh let's see let's quick look at this I think I will go with this do I have a flower one here? No. Nope. They have the big mushroom. Oh, girl. Keep going back to that girl. This one's kind of pretty. She's got a kind of a lot of the coloring in her. She may be too big. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to use that. I can use this piece here, though. And... Duke. Let's go this way. Come on out of that little spot there. Come on. Little piece right here. It's stuck on her neck. There we go. I was afraid to grab her off. 
might want her looking at this lovely little snail. Put her up there. And like you guys can foam everything up if you want. But like I said, I don't want it to be too bulky because of the we're gonna make a hole there. I'm trying to hold it in place, see how we like that. She's kind of looking at that. Or we can look, let's see if she likes to look at this one instead. Let's see which one we like better. I like her on there. Or she's looking down at this one. Nope, I like that one better. I like the little snail on there. Let's put this right about there. Okay. This one, I'm just going to glue the whole thing down. Whoop. I always forget these little bits, don't I? Every time. Until you flip it over, you can't see them from the front. There we go. None on that one. And right about there. She's talking to the little snail up there. I'll bring it up to you guys. There's a little snail on top of the mushroom. She's having a little conversation with that little snail. Isn't that cute? Adorbs. I amuse myself. Like I said, all these plain ones we're going to leave for for now. Once you get the album done, if you find out you don't need that much journaling space. So I'm not a huge writer, you know, but like I said, I'm not sure where this is going yet. So if you don't need this much journal space, we'll fill it in with some of this other stuff. Okay. That one's good. That one, that one's got more than enough. We don't want nothing on the back. Okay. I feel like, and you can do this either way. We decide, I think we want the stars, but. I think I think I want something in the middle of this one too. And she keeps calling my name. Which ones do we use? We used her already, or we used that one in the smaller size. So I don't want to use her again. And we used that one, and we used her. So we have because we didn't. We used her in the chipboard. So we have these two. So we used her in the smaller one already. So we have the, her left that we haven't used her yet. She's got her whole face covered. She's smelling the flower there. Okay, we did. That one goes back over there. But we did use that one. I really don't want to use necessarily. So we're going to use her because we haven't used her yet. So let me see. I'm going to put her out here. I might not like her, but be fair. Let's use a little of everything. And I don't think, let me check. Here she is. And let's do her in a chipboard because I did, wasn't fond of the black background is what was throwing me here. But she is in a chipboard with a white background. So I think we're going to put that there instead. Just so when you open this up, it like kind of like pops. And you have that pretty, pretty little thing there. Oh, there's a little bitty hole, a little bitty one here. I might need my pokey tool for that. To get that one out. All right, let's see. And like I said, I'm not adding any more additional pockets or anything like that. This is an album, not a junk journal. I really don't feel like you need, you know, a lot of different pockets and stuff. It's more about the pictures in here. Junk journals, I put a lot of pockets and stuff. But when I'm dealing with albums, I really don't. I don't really put a lot of, you know, pockets and stuff like that. And side tucks and all that stuff. I really don't. I don't put that in albums. You guys can if you want. 
but for me no okay let's close it up and because we're at 35 minutes let's see what we think this is our cover still not i i wish i wish these were they made these for the smaller ones too i may do something else with the cover but i think for right now this is our cover i may put more stars on there's not no little itty bitty mushrooms in here really so bulk some of these up and this would be our back it's just got everybody on there okay and then we'll open it up and there's really like you could it's it's not bulking out too much you could put a little bit more weight in there, but I don't like to put a little bit too much bulk. You know, it is an album, not a junk journal. All right, so then you have these two pages. You can tuck your little pictures in there on both on that side, not this one. And then you have that one. So you get the pocket, and then I'm like debating whether I want to put something along the top there. I don't really see nothing that I like though. We're sure some like little fireflies because this is such a like a nighttime scene. But there's not. There's lots of butterflies. Okay, I really don't see nothing that I want right now. We may come back to it at another time, but Okay, and then we have that and this is where we would have you could put in some pictures or whatever into your little belly band here. And we'll leave that for now. We have her. I think that's pretty. And then we'll leave that, open that, maybe just a big, let's put it in this corner. Maybe just one of the big mushrooms from here, not with her on. So we have two different ones. We have that one, with that one. I think I like this one. Let's put the mushroom on there. I think it needs a mushroom. This is how what happens. I feel like I'm done, and then I'm like, nope, let's add that. We're going to add that, and add that, and that. Like I said, I really wouldn't do this much right now. I don't do it until I put pictures in. But for you guys, we'll do a little extra. That one's pretty busy, so I think that's just, you know, you could put two smaller pictures here. You don't have to put a big picture, just put two smaller ones. And we have our two sides that open and open. And I think because, you know, this is about a four by six size, I don't want nothing in the corners yet. So I'm going to leave those. I'm not going to put nothing on those two right now. Then you have this, this. This I'm thinking we don't need for a journal, for journaling on this maybe. Because we have these two big ones here. We have four actually. Let's look and see what we have. Maybe we'll put something because I really don't think I like for me personally, I don't think I would journal that much. Okay. I'm just not a, a, a talker. Uh, you know, I, I just get to the point when I when I have st stuff, I don't like really go into a lot of description about what it was. So I think there's more than enough journaling spaces. Let's see which one I like to deal with right now. color in it we want to go like this okay. really don't like those two together I don't like the chipboard and the one together so I have a flower here somewhere not much flowers in here and the chipboard it's all mushrooms in the chipboard mostly no flowers yeah, they're pretty much all mushrooms. Okay, let's see what I have. Decisions, decisions, right? Let me see something. This one I think is going to be too dark. Let's just take the other, see if we like the other flower by it. It's mostly mushrooms. It's just a... No, I'm not going to like that. And you know why? Because it looks exactly the same. Because it is. Okay. 
this is the most challenging part for me is the decorating. I could spend too much time. We are going to put her there. Like she just picked the flower from there. That's what we're going with. All right, we're at 41 minutes, guys, so I think we're going to call this quits. And then next week, we'll show you how to make the box for this. But so this is our finished album. Now, when I have it open like this, like I like to close it. I put this little flap down. This is how I think it closes the best. So I put that little flap down. Then I'll fold these two in, and you can fold them whichever way you want. doesn't matter if you want her showing now. I think I want to peekaboo her, and you open it up and see a surprise. Then you put the bottom up the top because I made it so the scene looked like that. So that's why, but you could do it this way, but we made it remember so that it kind of fits together our little scene. And then you close up your book and there you go. How did you like this one guys? Hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next week for the holder for these. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.